dear viewers this video uh, related to the live session will also be available in the regional center cochin website and the youtube channel of ignu regional center cochin in this uh, live we'll be talking about the procedure for registering into the nep pdp program in the samarth portal the registration for pdp uh, that is the professional development program on implementation of nep 2020 for university and college teachers are open and uh, this procedure is mainly to share about the procedure of how to uh, register in the samarth portal for professional development program on implementation of nep 2020 for university and college teachers this program is from ignu regional center kochi when you visit the website uh, in the using the ignu nep pdp uh, in the samarth portal the page will look like this so first line will indicate the professional development program on implementation of nep 2020 for university and college teachers and uh, it will talk uh, uh, it will have uh, the information about nep 2020 the program uh, brochure the guideline for participant and also the help desk and the last two icons that is the login and register matters a lot in the procedure in the procedure for registration into the program so can you see this last two buttons indicated in the third line as login and register the second icon register enables to register that is enroll for this program since the program is free of cost there is no need to keep the details for financial transaction the things needed to register that is to enroll into the program or soft copy of the photo the passport size photo the soft copy of signature you can sign on a white paper and take a photo using your mobile handset and a scanned copy of college or university id card where your designation as teacher has been indicated because this is more important because this program is open only to college and university teachers the soft copy of the photo the minimum size should be 10 kb and the maximum uh, size should be 100 kb the accepted formats are .jpg or .jpeg files so when you are saving it you should be careful that you save it in this accepted format similarly for the soft copy of the signature you can sign it on a white paper using a black ink preferably because this when you scan and attach it it will be uh, very visible and then you can take upon signing you can take a photo and using your mobile handset for uploading the minimum file size should be uh, 10 kb the maximum file size is 100 kb the accepted formats are .jpg or .jpeg files so uh, for both the soft copy of the photo and the soft copy of the signature the minimum maximum and the accepted format are the same the college or the university id card the designation uh, should as teacher should has to be uh, indicated this is because the program is open to college or university teachers the minimum file size is 10 kb the maximum file size is 200 kb the accepted formats are .jpg or .jpeg or .pdf formats so if you are unable to have your id card the id card is under process a letter from the head of the institution can be used scanned and uh, uploaded uh, as a substitute for the college or university id card if the signature of your photo or your uh, the uh, soft copy of the id card or or above the prescribed size you can reduce the size by using the free website available for this cause so when you click the icon register the page will appear like this as i was sharing it is the last button in the third line when you get into the um, samarth portal for registration into this nep pdp program 
and there are six fields which elicit three information related to your name, email ID and password. The two other fields are re-entering fields for email address and password used and the last sixth field is the CAPTCHA. After you enter the details, the page uh, will appear like this. Click register after entering details like name, email and password. Upon clicking the register button, that is the last uh, line, the user ID and password will be received in your registered email ID. After clicking re register icon and having received the email, click icon the login, that is the second button in the third line the page will appear like this. There are three fields to enter, namely the registered Gmail ID, password and capture for verification. The registered Gmail ID should be the same that you have used initially to register using the register button in the first process which I have explained earlier. So if you are unable to recall, you can go back. Uh, the video will be uploaded in our regional center uh, YouTube channel also. You can go back, visit it and come back uh, for your viewing also. So the password is that which you have assigned initially to the re to register while using the register button on the portal initially in the summer portal. And uh, when uh, we are uh, talking about the registration process for the NEP PDP program open to university and college teachers free of cost. So in this process, we have finished about the register, how to register, and now we have, after getting the password and the user ID, we are uh, talking about the procedure to log in. So if you have forgotten the email ID used or the password given, you can visit your email as these two information have been sent upon completion of the registration process automatically. There is also a forgot password option uh, al allowed to access the account. However, as a skill, uh, life skill education, it is suggested that if you are unable to remember such intricacies of password or user ID, you may use, please write uh, the email ID used and the password used for easy retrieval as per the need. So upon entering the registered Gmail ID, password and CAPTCHA verification, click the button login, that is the last line. And if, if you press the login button, the page will appear like this. Read the important instructions displayed and affirm by putting the tick mark on the last line and click the proceed button. We have highlighted, see the tick mark is in blue color and then uh, the space to put your tick mark and then proceed we have also highlighted in red color for your easy understanding. And upon clicking the proceed button, the page will look like this. The page would elicit demographic data like personal details, correspondence detail with facility for uploading and previewing also. Details related to age, gender, education qualification, current designation, official affiliation are elicited under personal details. So you have to keep all these details ready. And after entering all the details, click the button submit. Upon clicking the submit button, the page will take you to preview with provision for editing where you can view what was entered. So it is mainly by feeding uh, using the keyboard. And I have kept certain information masked, certain uh, open so that you will know how it is. And don't worry about the code before uh, the uh, description because that is for uh, the office use, back office use. So read the page as you would read the uh, paper from newspaper from left to right and check for yourself on whether any facts have to be corrected or edited. If any information have to be corrected or edited, click edit details button and rectify the error. If the information entered is found correct, press next button on right hand side extreme to move to the next page. If you want to double check the previous page, use previous button found on the left side. So to move to the next page, next, 
to correct what you are doing, use the icon uh, button, edit details. If you want to check what you have done previously, use the previous button. So edit details, next and previous. So we are talking about the login procedure for the uh, NEP PDP program open to university and college teachers. So having filled in the personal details and verifying the same, upon clicking next button, the page would like uh, look like this. This page elicit correspondence details, that is address for communication. You can give either the office address or the residential address for communication. Upon writing uh, the uh, uh, necessary information, please click the submit button given in the last uh, line. And the page, upon submitting the submit button, the page will show the preview of the correspondent details entered. You can edit the details uh, you have entered or click next uh, button to go to the next page. So uh, upon uh, pressing next, this page provides a facility for uploading photo, signature and valid institutional ID card or nomination letter from head of the institution. So you, can, uh, you need to upload one file at a time and do not try multiple uploads at a time. Uh, and earmark the right file before uploading. And uh, after uploading, please verify whether you have uploaded the right information, the right file, and do not be in a hurry also. Ensure good internet connectivity uh, so that the information uploaded or uh, can be easily uh, encrypted for uh, uploading purpose by the uh, missionary back office and after uploading all the three files namely the photo the signature and the valid institutional id or nomination letter for uh, from the head of the institution uh, press the next button that is in the right hand side facing the screen when you are doing the task and upon clicking the next button the page would look like this Verify once again the files uploaded. If wrong files have been inadvertently uploaded, press delete button adjacent to the wrong file. Move your eyes horizontally while verifying the files uploaded in this uh, uh, age, uh, mode. And if all uploads have been found to be apt and correct, press the next icon. I repeat once again, previous icon is towards the left, the edit details is in the center and the next is in the right hand corner of when you see the page while doing the task. So once uh, clicking the next button, the page will look like this. This page gives the preview of all the personal correspondent data entered and files uploaded. Do not worry about the code prefixing, I have underlined uh, this B2. So uh, for you, your ease of reference, what I am referring to the code, prefixing the information you have entered, be assured that all data will be used with strict confidentiality and it's only used for this academic program uh, documentation. Because it is a free ship program, the fee would be shown as paid. So you need not worry um, of why it is shown as paid when you have not used any of the details related uh, to the pay, fi, uh, digital payment for financial transaction. And uh, the preview page will run for three pages like this. And after you have read all the uh, details entered in the preview page, click I agree. Um, it's by uh, putting a tick mark, check box, followed by submit my application. All for Both the uh, buttons are found in the right hand side corner. Uh, below while seeing the uh, web page while doing the task. So upon clicking the submit my application button, the page would look like this. This page gives you application summary. The control number can be used for your reference and for use at help desk or in future communication. Click print application form button to, to take a print to take a printout of the application submitted. So application summary, the control number I have just uh, shown you so that you will know where it is and print application format is also 
available it is better that always we take a print out and keep it as uh, as an attachment either you send it to your own email id or in our take a print out and keep it in the uh, in your file and so when you take the print out it will look like this so always keep a print out for uh, future reference and uh, viewers this information you have been listening uh, so far is also available in the readable format in ignu regional center cochin website the uh, when you access the page it will look like this how to register uh, for nep pdp program so with this friends uh, with this, in this video we have seen of how to fill in the application form for professional development program on implementation of nep 2020 in the samarth portal thank you for watching our good wishes to you in your endeavors